Hello everyone, in this project we'll learn how to create this analog and a digital clock with the help of JavaScript. It is a really fun project. You can see it is fully functional. We have the second hand that is moving, the hour hand and the minute hand are showing the correct time. And the correct time, the current correct time is also visible in the digital format. So we'll learn both analog and digital clocks. We'll learn how to create analog clock and a digital clock. It's simple and it offers a lot to learn so let's get started okay let's start the project i have a folder called clock on my desktop if i double click on it we have a for another folder within it called images if i double click on this folder we have a single file in it which is clock.svg it is an svg file of this clock which is simply a dial of the clock without any hands on it no hour minute or second hand on it and we will use this for our project i have downloaded this from the internet and i am going to drag this folder and i'm going to drop it onto my visual studio code which is my default text editor which is my text editor so the folder is now open within the text editor which is visual studio code i am going to create a new file and before i do that i'll also open this folder just to show you what is happening. I will resize the, the folder and I am going to create a new file and I will give it a name of index.html. You can see that the new file has been created here and it is a blank HTML document. I will resize it and I will, so we can see, we can have our browser and the text editor side by side. I'm going to minimize the explorer and I am going to type an exclamation mark and tab and we simply have created a basic HTML skeleton. It is also known as the boilerplate. I'll change the title and I will call it clock. If I now save it and refresh it, you can see that the title of the document has been changed. I am going to go down to my body area. The basic HTML skeleton is composed of a doc type declaration, which is simply telling the browser that this is a document that has been written in the HTML5. Uh, there's a so there is an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag which makes the HTML element and there are two children's one is head and the other is body. So this one has an opening head tag and a closing head tag and this one has a an opening body tag and a closing tag. Two children that are enclosed within the main HTML element. So I'm going to go down into my body element and I will say dot and I will say clock and I'll press tab. So I have created a div that has a class of clock and I want to target it in my style area. I will say style and I will press tab. I have created an opening style tag and a closing style tag. This is where I will write my CSS. Normally, usually you write a CSS file as an external file, but I just want to keep it simple for my audience. So I'll create my style and the JavaScript file within my HTML document. And then later on, I'll show you how to separate these files. So we have to target this class, this element with the help of this class. So within my style area, I will say dot, and this is how you target a class. And the name of the class is clock, and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket. And I will say border, two pixels, solid black. If I now save it and refresh my browser, you can see that there is a horizontal line that has a border of two pixels solid black. That is our div that has a class of clock. I'll change the width of this element, this div to 400 pixels and height to 400 pixels as well. If I now save it and refresh it, the div has a width of 400 pixels and a height of 400 pixels. So it is per a perfect square. So this is where we will display our clock and I will say background image and URL and opening parentheses and a closing parentheses. I'm going to reference this images folder that has an image of CLVG clock SVG and within single quotation, I will say images forward slash and this folder has only one image which is an SVG image if I save it 
and refresh it we have multiple images of the clock and i will say background size and i will say cover so this clock will perfectly fit into this div now i can also give it a border radius of 50 percent to make it a perfect circle save it and refresh it the div is a perfect circle now however i am going to comment this out control forward slash for now so that she can understand what i'm doing so i'll save it refresh it so the div again is a perfect square 400 by 400 with the image of the clock perfectly fitting into it horizontally and vertically because of this css property now we have to create another element within this div so this is going to be our parent element and i'm going to create another element called sec sec and i'm going to press tab we have created another div with a class of sec and this is where we will display our seconds hand and we have to target this div within our CSS area as well. So I'm going to say dot SEC and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket. And I will say border one pixel solid blue. I'm going to save it and refresh it. This is our newly created div. I am going to change the height and width of it. So I'll say width maybe four pixels, four pixels and height of 240 pixels i am going to save it refresh it and this is the new div now which is projecting on the far left hand side of the parent element i'll maximize it so you can see it so this is the new div that we have just created with a border of one pixel solid blue i have to display this element within the center of the parent element horizontally and vertically center and to do that we have to go back to the parent element and we'll have to change the display type to flex and justify content center so to horizontally center an element within the parent element you have to say display flex if i this is one of the ways that you can project an element horizontally uh, in the center i am going to save it and refresh it we have this element that is horizontally centered within the parent element we want to also vertically center it so i'll say align items center if i now save it and refresh it we have an element that is perfectly centered within this parent element horizontally and vertically and the height of this element is such that the top presents top projects just before this marking of 12 digit and this marking of 12 and the bottom end just projects just above the vertical line that represents this six o'clock we also have to create something called a pseudo class so i will say sec colon colon and after I'm going to create a pseudo class, which is just like a child element of this class, but it is slightly different. And the main property that a pseudo class has to have is content. And without content, the pseudo class won't work, but we want to leave the content empty. So I'm going to save it and nothing will happen. And if I just give it a width of uh, two pixels, width of two pixels half of this two pixels and height has to be exactly half of this height 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 120 pixels we are creating another element within this div with uh, the help of pseudo a pseudo class we have to project this element within the within the main element which is this blue div and i will say background black semicolon if i save it and refresh it nothing has happened because we have to project this in the center of the element and it has to have a display property and justify content center as well this is the parent for this one a well sort of parent and if i now save it 
and refresh it, you can see that there's a black line that can represent the seconds hand. Okay, so we have created a div. This is a background image of a clock. And then within this div, we have created another div, which is known as which has a class of seconds. And within this class, we have created a background of two pixels with and a height of 120 pixels. And this is projecting on top edge of the of this parent element. If I want to project it in the middle, I will simply have to say align items center, but that is not what we want. So we want to project this needle on top of this element. So I will remove this. I'm going to save it again and refresh it. So our second hand is projecting exactly where we want it to be. Now, the second thing is now we can change the angle of this div with the help of JavaScript. And for that, I will go down just before the closing body tag and I will say is script. So I have created an opening script tag and a closing script tag and I have to target this class. I have to save this element within a variable and to do that I'll use let keyword and I'll call it VSEC. This is the name of the variable that I am creating and I will say document dot query selector. This is a selector method which will select an element with the help of a class. So single quotations dot sec. I will say console dot log to see the contents of this variable. I am going to save my file and refresh it. I will press F12 on my keyboard and you can see on line 56. This is line 56. We have we are using console log method to see the contents of this variable and that variable is holding this element which is a class of sex okay now that we have saved this element within this variable we can change the angle so we can say v s e c which is the name of this variable that is holding this blue div and i will say style i'm applying a css style within the javascript area and i will say transform I'll say, I'll type in a back tick, another back tick, and I will say rotate Z within parentheses, I will say 90 degrees. Okay. If I now save it, you can see that the div has been rotated 90 degrees. Notice that from here to here, it is 15 seconds. To show 15 seconds, the needle has to rotate 90 degrees. Okay, so if I change it to 60 degrees, it will, it should show. If I save it and refresh it, it is now showing 10 seconds, but it has been rotated 60 degrees. So if it is rotating 60 degrees for 10 seconds, it has to rotate 6 degrees for 1 second. So if I change it to 6 degrees, you will see that this thing has been rotated to six degrees and it is showing one second is the next thing is to use an object called a date in javascript and that is written as date and opening parentheses and closing parentheses and i want to save this date within an within a variable and i will call it v time which is equal to date and i'll say new date okay so we have saved the current date and time in this variable and I will console.log v time as well. I am going to save it, refresh my page, press F12 and you can see that on line 60, line 60, we are console logging the contents of this variable, which is the current date and time. If I refresh it, you can see the seconds are changing. Okay. It is now 27 seconds. So we can now use this variable to display and change the angle of this, uh, this element. So if I press F12 again, I want to save this component in another variable and I will save let VSS is equal to V 
time dot get seconds which is another method that will copy that will tell you what second it is so if i now save it and refresh it uh, i have to also console log this i will remove this and i will say console dot log and vss is the name of this new variable which should show us seconds file save refresh it you can see this variable the time is holding the current date and time wednesday november 2nd 2022 and this is the second component which is visible here if i refresh it you can see again this variable is holding the seconds now we can use this variable to rotate our our seconds hand so i am going to copy this control c and i'll also comment this control forward slash and i will go down towards the bottom and i will say control v and instead of saying uh, instead of this hard coding this and instead of hard coding this decrease i am going to use this variable and i will say dollar sign and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket and the name of this variable is vss control c and control v and i have to say degrees now this is in seconds okay and we have to convert this if i press f12 again so this is in seconds this variable is in seconds and we have to convert this into degrees and because to move one second the needle has to move six degrees i am going to convert this into degrees by multiplying it by six so i am going to save it and refresh it and if i refresh my page you can see in order to move 33 in order to show 33 seconds needle has to move 198 seconds 198 degrees refresh it in order to move 43 seconds in order to show 43 seconds the needle has to move 258 degrees refresh it again and you can see that the needle is moving automatically already so this is now showing 51 seconds and it is actually 306 degrees refresh it again and this is now three seconds and to move to show three seconds the needle has to move 18 degrees six times three is 18 so that part is done now so if i keep refreshing it it will keep changing the uh, it will keep showing me the current uh, whatever the current second is but we have to run this every second we have to. so i am going to go on line 58 just before i created this variable and i will use set interval method and opening parentheses and a closing parentheses and another opening parentheses and a closing parentheses and after this an opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket and an is equal to sign and a greater than sign we have created a function and i will enclose every single line of code from here onwards within this method and this method takes an argument and i will say comma 1000 1000 means 1000 millisecond which is equal to one second so i want to run this code every second so i will right mouse click and format the document as well so we are running this code every single second okay so set interval method will run the code according to whatever time you have provided and i have provided 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second so i will save it refresh it and you should see that the needle is now moving every single second if i press f12 and it is also changing the time and the degrees which we are converting seconds into degrees here okay so this is now six degrees 12 degrees and which represents this number of seconds now that you know what is happening here i will close this now that you know what is happening here so we are moving this element at this center of this element which is this element here i can actually get rid of this blue color which is frustrating so i can comment this out control forward slash i will save it refresh it and you can see that we now have a more uh, reasonable representation of the seconds hand which is moving every second 
and using this principle we can also create a minute hand now so i am going to go down to my div the main parent div and i am going to say dot r and i'm going to press tab and we have created another div another child div within this parent which is which has a class of r and to save time we can simply copy these two we can simply copy seconds and seconds after properties control c and control v and i'll simply call it hr hr because the class of this element is hr and this will become hr after which is the pseudo class we have to change the width because the r hand or oh, i should i think i should probably create a minute hand first so dot m i n and i will change it to m i n and i will also change it to m i n and the minute hand has a slightly bigger width so i will say for example eight pixels and this i would say probably 200 and this width would be which would be visible on the clock should be four pixels at least and this has to be half of this element it should be 100 i will save it and refresh it we also have another hand that is minutes hand but they are not in the center they should exactly superimpose on each other and to do that i'll go into my seconds area and i will say position absolute i am going to save it and refresh it now both the needles are superimposed i am going to copy this control c control v control c and control v and control v here file save and refresh we now have needles superimposed but the minute hand is not showing the correct time because we haven't used any of the javascript to do that we have to save this newly created element in a variable so i am going to copy this control c and control v and i will give it a name of v min which represents the variable minutes and the class that it has is b uh, dot m i n okay so we now have saved this element in a variable and we can use the same thing from v time we can calculate i will say i'll create another variable here i will say let v m m which is a new variable and i will say v time dot get minutes this time i'll use get minutes this method and i will also have to multiply this by six because within one hour the needle uh, the minute hand moves 360 degrees it means that it moves in one minute it moves six degrees so i am going to change the style of this element as well and for that i will copy this simply control c and control v i'll simply change the name of the variable which is v min v m i n and the variable that is holding the minutes multiplied by six is v m m v m m m if i now save it and refresh it you can see it is showing the current time if i press f12 you can see the current time is 953 950 so this is minutes hand we don't have an hour hand here so this is 950s so this is showing 953 25 seconds so this is the minute hand which is showing 53 minutes which is correct here okay now we also have to create our hand and i will create another div i'll call it i'll say dot hr and press tab we have created another child within this parent element and we will target this here i'll copy these two control c and control v and this is a class of hr hr 
and the pseudo class also has to have hr and i will say width should be 12 pixels and this should be i would say 160 and this should be uh, 6 pixels and half of 160 is 80 pixels 80 pixels if i now save it and refresh it we have three hands now this is our hand this is minutes and this is seconds so we also have to save this newly created element in a variable i will simply copy this control c and control v and i will call it vhr okay vhr is the new variable variable r and i will call it dot hr because this is the class of the element we're targeting this element with the help of class and we are saving the contents of this in this variable down there i have to create another variable called i will say it v h h and which should be equal to v time dot get hours okay so there is another method called get hours now for hours there is a different rule mathematical rule because within an hour the hour clock moves only 30 degrees from here to here it is 30 degrees so 6 12 18 24 and 30 okay so this has to be multiplied by 30 times 30 and again we have to change the style of this element which is holding this our hands so this is vhr vhr dot style dot transform is equal to i am going to copy this control c and control v and i will the name of the variable that is holding the degrees of the our hand is vhh so vhh so if i now save it and refresh it you can see that it is showing the clock is at 9 if i press f12 it is 956 but but if it is 956 the hour hand should be somewhere here not exactly at nine o'clock okay and to do that there is a formula so vhh within bracket i will say vmm divided by 12 and this will calculate some degrees in number that should be added to this vhh okay so vmm whatever the angle of this is that would be divided by 12 and we'll get an answer and that answer will be added to this vhh to show the correct degree so if i save it and refresh it you can see that it is almost it is almost showing 10 o'clock only three minutes to 10 but time in it is 9 57 so the hour clock is not at nine it's rather showing the correct representation of the hour hand now we can create we can convert this into a circle again and to do that i will go back up to this css area of clock and i will comment this i'll say control forward slash file save refresh it and we have a perfect circle that is showing the clock and the analog clock is working perfectly fine now we can also show the time in the uh, in the digital format and for that i will go after this div and i'll create another div and i will say hash symbol and i will say i digital d i g i t a l so i have created another div that has an id of digital unlike these uh, have classes and this one has an id so i am going to target this uh, in okay before i do that i will save this element in a variable and i will say let v digital is equal to document dot get element 
by id and the id of this new element is i digital control c and control v so we have saved this uh, newly created element which is a div in this variable and we can simply say v digital dot inner html okay we all know what is inner html inner html is this space which is empty at the moment and i want to make it uh, look like and i want to say i can say this vss okay so it is going to show me the time in seconds multiplied by six which will be actually degrees so if i save it and refresh it you can see that it is showing degrees instead of times instead of seconds okay so 10 seconds is equal to 60 degrees we have to convert it back to the second and before i do that i'll target this element i'll target this element with css and i will say hash symbol this is how you target an element with the help of an id and the id of this element is i digital control c control v and opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket and the font size i want maybe 60 pixels if i save it and refresh it font is a bit bigger i'll say font family where all around i will save it refresh it we have a different font okay but this is not correct we can do one of the two things one is that we convert it back divide this by six but we can also directly use this variable and i will say let v digital seconds is equal to v time dot get seconds okay so we're saving the seconds in this variable and instead of using vss we can we can simply use v digital seconds which will hold the current second so control c and control v if i now save it and refresh it we can see that it is showing 58 seconds zero seconds one second two seconds okay so i am going to create a template literal with the help of backticks and we know what is a backtick a backtick is a key that is located just above the tab key or on the left hand side of the uh, one key on your keyboard and this is something very very useful so i'll enclose every single thing and because this is a variable within backtick you have to target a variable with the help of dollar sign and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket and i can also type in a colon before the seconds file save refresh we are now seeing current seconds with this traditional colon symbol okay now we have done that we can also show the minutes so i'll copy this control c and control v and i will say digital minutes m i n and instead of get, saying seconds i will say get minutes i'll use get minutes method and i will use another dollar symbol and opening curly bracket and closing curly bracket and i will copy this variable control c and control v file save refresh it is showing us the current time current minutes okay and i will also copy this control c and control v and i will say digital r h r and instead of saying and instead of saying get and instead of saying get minutes i will say get hours file save and i will have to display the hour here as well so another dollar symbol and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket and i will simply copy this control c and control v so if i now save it and refresh it we have exactly the correct time 10 4 17 notice there should be a zero before four and same thing is true with the second uh, area okay so 
uh, we can fix this thing so we can say if if condition and opening parenthesis and a closing parenthesis and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket if v digital main control c if v digital main is less than 10 and then within bracket we will reassign this value control v again is equal to an other template literal with the help of backtick dollar symbol v digital main an opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket and with and a closing curly bracket and i'll simply append a zero here okay so if i now save it notice a zero will appear before five so refresh it and we now have a zero appearing before five and we'll do the same thing with hour and min, uh, minutes as well okay so i am going to copy this control c and control v right mouse click format document and instead of saying v min here we can also say control c seconds okay control v here control v here and control v here okay file save and refresh you'll see that within five seconds we'll have zero one here instead of just one so it's zero 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 one so this is showing correct and we have to do the same thing with our area okay control c and control v right mouse click format document and v hour v digital hour is the variable that is holding the hour correct hour here control c control v and control v file save and we have correct analog clock and a digital clock okay the only thing that is remaining is to format it a little bit more so if i maximize my browser you can see it is projecting on the far left hand side and we can simply fix that we can just go in the style area and i will target my i'll target the whole body body and opening curly bracket and a closing curly bracket with i will say 400 pixels margin auto and align text align center that should center the clock okay so everything is now centered beautiful working just fine i think i will give some margin on top so i'll go down to my uh, clock area which is this and i will say margin top maybe 40 pixels file save refresh and we have a 40 pixel margin now the clock is working fine and we have managed to create a digital and an analog clock within an hour's time i hope this was useful for many people i'll see you in the next lesson thank you very much